Like One Tree Hill star Hillary Burton and her fiance Ian, Jessica and Stefan are sharing a home for the first time while pursuing careers in entertainment. So we're serving them up a star-worthy dining room inspired by Hillary's taste for oddities. We definitely like the oddities, you know. We like stuff that no one else has. It's still day one, and we've painted the walls, purchased furniture and accessories, and I've built the wine rack. While Mark and Jessica head back from shopping, Kelly preps her sewing, and Stefan and I start on the dining table. Okay. This is a jigsaw. Little tiny blade, cuts circles, cuts corners, cuts everything. Okay. Already got this uh, set up. Just follow that line around. And, because uh, you're showing some skill today, man. Showing it mad. Carpet. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun to build something. I never built anything before by myself. And uh, I felt like a man, you know, having the power tools in my hand. It's nice when you build your own stuff because you can pick out the material, you can pick out the shape of it, it's, it's custom, and then you have bragging rights. I have two sewing projects to do today. I'm going to make a perfectly round tablecloth, and I'm also going to try and duplicate the curtains as closely as I can to Hillary's curtains. You know, my curtains are real flashy and gold. I like gold, you know, a lot of people decorate with silver, I think gold's really, really warm and it adds a lot to the space. Uh, and first off, round tablecloth. In this case, I need the diameter to be 72 inches. So you're gonna take a piece of string or thread, yarn, and you wanna measure out half of that. So for your perfect circle, find the center of your fabric. So you can just place your string here. Just put it in with a pin so you don't have to worry about it. Stretch your string and pencil as tight as you can get it and circle all the way around. What I'm doing is I'm making a stitch as close to the edge of the fabric as I can get it. And that way when it frays, that stitch will stop the fray and it'll look like a decorative effect as opposed to a ratty edge. We leave and this is what happens? Wow, it's for us? You whip actually, this out. I actually built this. Did you really? You, mm -hmm. a bit. you know what's kind of <laughs> neat is I just had to say, Stefan, here you go. And he kind of Did pushed really me out of the it? way. Excellent. Oh. It's nice. I like it. I would really love to stick around and chat. <laughs> but unfortunately, you and I have a project to go work on upstairs. Oh, okay. You're going to go work on something with Kelly. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Cool. See you guys you later. Go. You're Thanks coming with me. Up. Peter? Sir? Stefan, we are making silhouette plates of Jessica. Wow. You see these? Fantastic. Isn't this cool? Yeah. I really like silhouettes, and that's kind of something that's big in that room. It adds a little bit of eerie quality to it. My favorite way is to just photograph somebody sideways, and then cut it out, and then that's your stencil. Does that look like her? Does that look like her silhouette? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we're going to trace it with a black Sharpie pen on the back of a glass plate, and then we're going to actually fill in what we trace out with black paint. The plate is unbelievable. I, I really, really love the fact that they used her silhouette for that. That's genius. I think she's going to be excited to have a set of plates with her face on them. Kidding me? It's going to drive her nuts. I want you to help me with a special project for Stefan. Okay. I got a map of California. Oh. And I actually found an older map, which okay. is really cool. And then I found a newer map of Philadelphia. Because I know he's from Philly. My map of New York is actually a funny story. My manager, Meg, uh, had given me a book wrapped in that map. It was, it was <laughs> wrapping paper. So I just kind of had it ironed out and straightened out, and I had it framed. Which one do you think he would go for? California, just because we're from here. We met here. And right. But I actually, I like the look of the California map. I do, too. Better. It's more colorful. Yes. So It's colorful. It's a little older. I'm so excited to be part of making something for Stefan. He loves maps, and I think it'd be a great touch for our dining room. I'm going to start on the frame. I think he's really going to like this. I do, too. It's a really cool project. Oh, that's get, you're getting there. Yeah, that looks really good. We're going to have to get it a, give it a couple coats, but if you do the light coat first, and you okay, let so it dry, we'll go in the second. Dry yeah, yeah, it's just like anything. Nice it's, just like, it's just like painting anything. I'm not a crafty guy, but I love the fact that I got to make something for Jessica. and It'll be a nice reminder of our dining room and the whole experience and us moving in together. Once the black paint dries, we're going to spray over the back of the plate with a white high gloss, and then we're going to seal it 
Do you spray it on the mirror or on the back? Spray it on the back of this. Kelly is attaching the map to a mirror, so when light hits it, the map will be framed in light. More room on the side. The fact that she put the map on the mirror for him is just really sweet. Every time they walk in that room, it's going to be really special. Stefan and Jessica are finishing up their projects and we're sending them off to a hotel for the night. I think it's weird to, like, you know, just walk away from a situation, not have any control of what your room's going to look like. Now that day one is over, here's what we spent the money on so far. Paint for the walls, wood for the wine rack and dining room table, the gazelle, sideboard, settee, wrought iron frame, fabric for curtains and tablecloth, dishes and paints for the silhouette project, and frame, glue, and the map for Stefan's gift for a grand total of $1,710. Good morning, guys. What's up, Kelly Nishimoto? You made, made, <laughs> you made a cape. <laughs> I made a cape. It's, it's the round, your round tablecloth. Oh, okay. I Ooh. see you did a nice little top stitching. What are you up to? I'm going to finish off the table, and all I have to do is just put a coat of stain for the wine rack. How long does that take to dry? Uh, that one will take probably three hours. Okay, so we've got to do that yeah. first thing this morning, right? Yeah, that's going to get done. And then the table, I just have to assemble the base and the legs. So you need to get out there and start that right away. And you're going to finish up the drapes. We have to paint the chandelier. We're going to paint it black. And uh, I'm going to finish up the plates. And I also have to make the centerpiece with the antlers. So we... So you have our day full. We do have our day pretty full, guys. Yeah. Hey, uh, question, guys. Yeah. This is the uh, replacement for the seat. Do you think that I should rust it up a little bit? We can hit it with some of that spray paint and then wipe off the spray paint right away so you get that chip feel. That okay. Feel I'm going to go on there. Go? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we love our chandelier right now in our dining room, but we're thinking about moving it to the bedroom because we're not sure it's going to fit. Hopefully it works out. What are we doing? We're just going to paint the chandelier. That's it? Yeah, that's it. We're just going to paint it black. We're just going to hit it with some black. Everything black? Or yeah, I want everything black. No, come through. Okay. no, I want everything black. It's really popular right now, the black accessory thing in the home. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about the chandelier is if they wanted to hit it back gold, all they'd need is some spray paint and it would look brand new again. Ooh, the chandelier is great. Maybe I need my house redone to look like theirs. Did I see some crystals? Mm -hmm. We have a few. I may, I may try it. I'm not sure yet. I like the way this looks. What do you think? I think it's great. Peter Park! What's up, man? I am about to finish up a project that Stefan and I started yesterday. Why don't you come and help me with it if you want to take a little bit of a break from this? Yeah, you know what? I gotta let some. Uh, and I'll let you. Uh, Touch your masks. Kelly starts sewing the curtains, and I'm helping Mark finish the silhouette plate project like those that adorn Hillary's dining room. Like Hillary's plates, these are a great design element for the new room, but they're for decorative use only, not for dining. Now, what we're going to do is... So you're going to spray paint it white? I'm going to have you do it. But just do, like, super light coats first. But yeah, that's fine. Partially so it doesn't drip. But the other part is you want the first coat to stick to the glass, even if it's just a little bit. And then when you get the other coats on there, that paint will stick to them. To it only takes about a minute to dry, right? Mm-hmm. All right, you want to see? Yeah. Isn't that great? Oh, but those plates look awesome. I'm so jealous I didn't think of that. I just bought them off the internet. <laughs> I'll finish these up. All Thank right, you buddy. for your help. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to go uh, build a table. All right. That, that looks good. I like that. It's aging it a little bit. What do you think, Peter? Does it look aged? That is looking antique, you Mark. You know? I just love antiquing. Just antique everything. Go ahead. Who wants anything new and shiny? Just antique it. Okay. Just gives a little bit more... A little contrast. Depth. Dimension. Contrast, if you will. Mark? Yeah. Can you give me a hand here? I can. I'm going to take this and set it on that base over there. Gotcha. Yeah. Fairly really simple. I like really this clean. size of table. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's Mark. very simple. It's nice. I like it. 
Sometimes when you put a couple pieces of wood together and you try your best to line them up, sometimes that factory edge just won't line up exactly. One good way to cover up your mistakes, use a darker stain. That way, the stain will cover up pretty much everything and you won't even notice that groove is there.